AB 2249 is an effort here in California to deal with the dynamic that we've seen sort of pop up in the last few months affecting a national park here in the state of California, the Park of Yosemite. And the issue that arose is that uh, a concessionaire had undertaken to register trademarks for storied historic locales in Yosemite Park, the Iwani Hotel, the Wawona Hotel, Camp Curry. You see an early 1920s photo of Camp Curry right here, other spots. And then out of a dispute with the National Park Service now, the Park Service has determined that they need to change the names of the Iwani Hotel, Camp Curry, uh, Wawona, Badger, Badger Pass, Badger Ski Area. And uh, this is just shocking to me. I actually grew up in Yosemite. There's a picture here of my grandfather and grandmother, uh, probably in the 40s at, at Mirror Lake. And I remember actually as a kid watching the firefall come over the top of uh, Glacier Point when I was just a tiny, tiny tyke. Um, so I just recognize that the locales of Yosemite Park are treasured by people. We have generations of Californians who have grown up with them. So the thought that a trademark dispute in a heritage park could force the renaming is just appalling to me. So at the state level, what we have proposed is, is every concession contracting statute in the country starts with the idea that whoever a given state would enter into contract with is actually a fit party for entering that contract. This bill does several things. It says, first, if a proposed concessionaire has had a practice of trademarking these types of heritage names, these, these long established heritage names, that that fact disqualifies them from being a California concessionaire. They don't get over the hump of being a fit contracting party if they have had the practice of trademarking heritage names. It also provides that the state of California, no state agency, either willingly or unwittingly, could ever agree to this type of term in a concessionaire's contract. This is an application of the law known as ultra viris, that is simply beyond the power of a state agency to give away these sorts of names in a contract. Um, and it's my belief that as California moves this bill forward, as it becomes evident that we are breaking this ground, this idea that to be a concessionaire, you can't be trademarking, that is an idea that I think other states would emulate. And I think it, it, for anyone in a concessions business, they have to decide are they going to be in the concessions business and uh, be compensated for operating the concession according to the terms of the contract, or do they want to somehow acquire revenue from another angle of trademarking. I think this type of bill will prompt concessionaires to decide, you know, we're going to be in our core business and we're not going to try to embellish it by trademarking. I'm honored to uh, co-author this legislation with both Assemblymember Cooley and Assemblymember Bigelow. Uh, as was said, Merced, my hometown, is the gateway to Yosemite and generations of families have enjoyed uh, that great uh, public resource. It is, in fact, offensive, I think, to the lawmakers uh, here at the state level that we would allow this kind of disagreement to occur and the pending result. Certainly a review of the facts seems to indicate there's blame to go around on a number of parties in this situation, but we want to set the record straight that this will not happen in California in relation to state parks going forward. Uh, that's important. You know, in addition to uh, Yosemite and all the wonderful uh, experiences and, and uh, opportunity to visit, uh, that our folks have enjoyed up there. We also have Columbia State Park just outside of my district where you have the City Hotel. And we certainly want to, wouldn't want to see uh, the renaming of the City Hotel just like we don't want to see the renaming of the Iwani and other great public resources that families have enjoyed for generations. We've got Hearst Castle. We've got the Jug Handle Preserve up on the Mendocino Coast. We've got Big Basin. We have a lot of, a lot of parks with distinctive names that are well known. And this just makes clear that if you're going to do a concession in any of these parks, you're going to be compensated for that, but, but don't plan to traffic by trademarking the name. Uh, that won't fly, and it actually illustrates you're not, not the sort of person we want serving as a steward of the public's experience of a great park like that. Mm -hmm.